Haley, uh, we discovered in January, her and her sister, Amber, both play tennis. And we went to have their physical done for tennis and the pediatrician uh, checked, checked Kaylee and, and said that she uh, seen mild scoliosis and did the having her bend over and, and she showed it to me and said that you know that it was it was mild and it was really nothing too concerning to watch and wait. I think by March that was when we noticed that it had drastically changed. You could see that her whole rib cage had shifted, her shoulder blade had shifted, and it was very, very noticeable. It went from being mild to then severe within two months. We had two different x-rays done. One was very blurry, and then when the orthopedic doctor, he then did an x-ray, when we did go to him, and his was a little more clear to where it was rough. I think he had said it was about a 44. He had three recommendations. First one was nothing, just, you know, I guess see what happens. I, I don't, I mean, to me, it's only gonna get worse. It's not gonna fix itself. It's not gonna get better. Uh, two, Boston Brace. And then three was, uh, he would recommend us to a surgeon. When it comes to traditional treatment, and we're looking at a mild scoliosis, curves under 25 degrees, the most common prescription is nothing. It's just watch and wait. And the reason why is because they have no treatment that's really effective in managing a small scoliosis and the, the scoliosis treatment they have to actually reduce scoliosis is very invasive and risky, so they have to let a curve worsen before they're willing to put a patient through that kind of risk, meaning spinal fusion. This is probably one of the worst recommendations that can be provided. In any case, reducing small curves while they're small is way better than letting a curve worsen and now trying to deal with a big curve and now reducing and trying to get below surgical levels is a much different tall order. We've seen how quickly it progressed, so it was like, all right, we need to get her in something quick. So I did, I called and had an appointment made to have her fitted for a Boston brace, but then right after I did that, I then did research on a Boston brace. Barbaric was a word that a couple of websites used, that it was just mainly a squeezing brace that doesn't do anything, really. I, they attempt to stop it but it's not going to reverse anything and that was uh, very upsetting I feel was that we were pretty much told there was no going back. The way she looked was the way she was going to look. The Boston Brace is a brace that's designed that's been around for, for many years and it's uh, basically a squeezing style brace and the goal of the brace is to try to slow down progression of the scoliosis. Unfortunately since you're just trying to slow progression down there's no reduction ever achieved in a scoliosis uh, in the Boston Brace on a scoliosis so not expecting to. When you look at a uh, scoliosis like Kaylee's we know we have to reduce the curve because she's already reached a severe level so the likelihood of just slowing her down and not ending up with a surgical recommendation is very small. In order to affect this prognosis you have to reduce this curve. And that's the main difference, is that our, our braces are something called a Scully brace design, which is a corrective style brace. And the goal of a corrective style brace is to actually push on the scoliosis to actually reduce the scoliosis in coordination with our therapy exercises and rehab that we prescribe in our clinic. So those two things in combination allow us to make the spine more flexible and actually reduce the curve. I had other things I had been researching that I felt that we might maybe need to go a different route. I think I was mainly starting to look for more natural remedies. It kept leading me to, to the Clear Institute is where it kept going, to where I just was really, and then the Scully brace, that's what I kept seeing that. And I remember when we brought that up to the, um, the orthopedic doctor, he kind of looked at us like, I don't know what that is. Kaylee's diagnosis when she came into our clinic for evaluation was already considered a severe scoliosis, 45 degrees and greater. So at this point, it's already considered a severe scoliosis, recommended if she went back to orthopedic surgeon, more than likely recommended for surgery. The second thing is that she was still growing. She was, her growth page was still open and developing, so she has a very high risk of still worsening every single time she grows. So just holding this curve, isn't enough, we have to reduce it. So what was my recommendation is to reduce the curve as quickly as we can. We know the most effective way of reducing a scoliosis is something called intensive care, where we take traditional long approaches, slow approaches to therapy and rehab that we condense into a very rapid, high dose, short duration treatment. Her biggest curve that she had, we were at, I believe a 48, almost a 49, and we've gotten it down to a 40 within four days. 
we've already noticed, you know, in, in on her back and on her shoulder, you can already see that, you know, her ribs are starting to shift back. You can see her shoulder blade shifting back. You can see her shoulders are becoming more aligned and it, it's, just, it's, it's visible, you can see it. Not only just in an x-ray, you can see it, you know, on her physically, you know, when you stand behind her, you can see it. That there isn't just one option and it's not surgery. You know, you do have other options and I just, I love the fact that that's what he does. You know, it's, it is, it's truly amazing what he does.